All right, so this is the difficult thing when you've taken your wife to 70 countries around the world and now it's your 10 year anniversary and you need to try to impress her. And she's high maintenance. high maintenance. Do you know where we're going? I don't know where we're going. Make yourself a toothbrush tea. Make yourself a favorite blouse. I told Jessica, we don't have our kids so you get a, get a cool car. This is what she got. Fancy. So we're going top down. We'll have driven through the state. We'll have driven through the night. Baby, come on. Okay. Here we go. You ready? Yeah. Good morning from Carmel, California. Babe, I'm super digging the hair. He looks so handsome. All right, so welcome back to our home tour mini series, all about our house. This week, we are showing you our master bedroom. It's where the magic goes down. <laughs> I knew so hard that you were gonna say that. <laughs> I thought it would be like when we were giving the tour of our room and they would show the bed. Oh, no, right now. Yo, I couldn't even make I'll it five seconds. Right now. I knew it. Welcome to the master bedroom. You want to say it so I bad. I do want to say it, but Just I'm say, get out of your system, go. This is where the magic happens. <laughs> so strange. All right, go for it. Okay, this is one of my favorite places in the whole house, just like purely design-wise. I feel like Candace, when she designed this, we were sending inspiration from Morocco, and it's so Moroccan to me, and I love it. Went to the desert and when we and we went see the animals and we ride camels and it was really bumpy. Bumpy, 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 bumpy. On my camel, it was just me and my little brother, Manila. And on Mommy's camel, it was Callie and Mommy. over the bed is so cute and the lights like make the whole room. Mm -hmm. um, Which was one of our favorite things in Morocco were those shops with all the crazy lights. Oh totally. So every morning we literally wake up to the sunrise when we look outside and then in the afternoons it's really great because we can just open the windows, the kids are playing outside. <laughs> Come on. He came to play with you buddy. Yeah. Wait, slide it shut and then open it. Okay, nothing cheesy, go. You're gonna be creepy, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you know, nothing, nothing cheesy. Of course in Morocco, it's full of mosaic tiles. And so this really pretty tile from Wayfair. Um, so pretty. So pretty. Turned out so nice. Yeah, it makes it look amazing. Kay. Okay, and then this bathtub. You can lay. Prove it. Flat. <laughs> What's the most people that have been in this bathtub at once? If you can sit in here with your two best friends and have a little hot tub party. Then you did something right in life. Yeah. All right. And who is the boy oh, under that the lives stairs? under the stairs in the closet? We do have a Harry Potter closet for our baby. 
Sally's room. Actually, you know what we should brag about? All of Jessica's clothes fit in those dressers. Nothing more. All of my clothes fit on three shelves. Nothing more. Then we have some coats and hats. Oh, and there's Callie's house. <laughs> Callie Ooh. loves it. He loves his room. It literally is under the stairs in the closet. <laughs> Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Say thanks for coming to my house. Thanks for coming to my crib. Wait, what about the mattress? It's super comfy. Where's it from? Mattress is from Wayfair. All our mattresses are from Wayfair. Rawr! <laughs> 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 beautiful, beautiful dresser. This is my uke. Are you gonna play something for us? It's super out of tune, so never know. Wait, what's this guy? The flowers. This is from our little wedding ceremony that we had last week. So in this episode of our master bedroom, we thought it would be perfect to share a little bit of our love story for our 10 year anniversary this week. I have three surprises for you. You've already experienced two of them. And are you ready for the third? Yeah. Do you have it like right now or something? <laughs> the third surprise for you is this video. So watch it carefully, Jessica. I'm crying. I haven't even seen the video. There's I'm something the video. very special for you. Aww. And when you watch this, I am excited for you to see it. You're going to love it. So Jessica, I love you. Watch the video carefully and enjoy it. All right, I'll take it from there. That's it? That's it. Wait, are we not gonna talk about this whole thing? I got it. They say we're young and we don't know. We won't find out until. missionaries for our church in a town called Vladivostok, Russia. <laughs> and for those two years, just a little bit of like information for you, for those two years, you go on a mission and you put school and work and friends and college, like everything aside in your focus. It's the equivalent to like a nun or a monk where yeah. you are not dating or are supposed to be thinking about dating or any of that. So Jessica grew up in Colorado. I grew up in Utah. We ended up in Russia at the same time on these church missions. When you arrived, I was in a completely different city than you, but a different missionary had told me, so this sister missionary arrived and she's cute. That's what he said to me. And so I was already like so full missionary mode that I was kind of like, oh, okay, like cute sister missionary, whatever. That's all I'd heard about you. I had heard that Elder G was cocky. I heard that he was a good missionary, but he was very overly confident. That's all I had wait, heard. Wait, wait, wait. Two different things. Did they say cocky or confident? 
cocky was the word. <laughs> okay. So I hadn't heard much about him. So what did you talk about our first time, like, at least meeting? Okay, the first time we ever crossed paths. Let me paint the picture for you. So love with your eyes, love with your mind, love with you. There I stay forever. Do it for yourself, do it for the girl, do it for you. I don't know where we're going. So I've gathered some of Jessica's very best friends. We're in Big Sur, California, this beautiful house, and uh, we have a full ceremony planned. I just want this to be a day that Jess remembers. Uh, I've been planning it for over three months behind her back, and the best part is she has no idea what's going on. When we were younger, we were super poor, so we never had what we felt like was a proper wedding. So in a way, this is kind of the, the proper wedding we never had. And um, most of all, I just hope it's a super special day for Jessica. Garrett was, he was everything I ever wanted. Just. He had the drive, he had the confidence, he had the hard work, he was kind, he loved his family, he loved my family. Never in my life did I ever think I would be somewhere like this, traipsing around the world. 
never would have thought that. But then I married Garrett G, who's the most extreme person in the whole wide world, and is always like reaching for the stars. Together you two have birthed three beautiful children. You've lived in six apartments, one incredible house, three businesses, traveled to 73 countries with your kids in tow. It's pretty incredible. I just want to say you two are such a power couple. Not only are you guys an incredible husband and wife, but you are incredible friends, incredible parents, and incredible business partners. One thing that I love about you two is that you're very deliberate in every, everything that you do, in every decision you make. There's a reason and a purpose behind it. And you embrace a life that works for you guys, and you don't necessarily conform to the norm. I think it's pretty important. Something about the way that you walked into my living room Casually and effortless, always looking effortless And still you, still you want me Stress lines and cigarettes, politics and deficits Late bills and overages, screaming and hollering And still you, still you Jess, this is all for you. <laughs> I hope if you feel anything today, you just feel my love for you and everyone in here, how much we all love you. And just, we just appreciate you and we're just so grateful for who you are. Um, we've been married for 10 years and they've been the best 10 years of my life and they've gone by fast and I'm incredibly excited for, for the rest of our lives together. Um, just from the deepest, most sincere part of me, I just want to say thank you. I know sometimes being married to me is difficult. Um, I hope you love it and enjoy it as much as I have because I love being married to you. It's my favorite part of who I am, my favorite part of my life, is you. Everything I do, anything I'm proud of in life, comes through you. Um, I love our children. I love how much of you is inside our children. And I'm just so excited for the rest of our lives and forever together. I didn't write anything down because we didn't warn you about this, and so now I think it's your turn. <laughs> so say really nice things about me. <laughs> I, gosh, I, I can't believe this. I can't believe everybody's here. I can't believe you guys are here. I don't like being the center of attention even a little bit, but this is like the best thing ever. I mean, the last 10 years have been nothing like I expected when I got married to someone. When I got married to you, I didn't think we, I never in a million years would have dreamed that we would have traveled, that we would be living in Hawaii. It was never, it was never my plan. It was never my, like, what I wanted to do. But everything I've done, every, every decision we've made, we've made together. And your happiness and our kids' happiness mean the world to me. And I couldn't be happier because of what you've given me and what you've given to our family. So, love you. thank you for doing this. Always let you down. You shine it on the ground. Still, I find you there next to me. 
And how the stupid things I do I'm far from good, it's true But still I find you next to me I'm far from good, it's true Still I find you next to me So 